Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by today. We're gonna to be making a salad that I have not yet made from Magnolia Cookbook, volume number three, which is arugula and dried cherry salad. But it sounds amazing, it has everything I like in it, except it does have toasted almonds in the salad, which I'm gonna not put into my salad today, but I'm doing everything else. So, our first step to making this is taking our dried cherries, putting this into a small bowl, and we're gonna be combining apple cider vinegar and water now we're gonna let this go should have gotten a spoon hold on i have a spoon right here i'm gonna stir this around and this is actually gonna sit in room temperature covered for six hours up to overnight so good thing we got six hours of things to do today because we're gonna let this sit and we're gonna come back to finish up our salad so Put this off to the side and we'll get everything else ready in the meantime. All right, so it's time to get ready to add our cherries to our salad while they're going. So let's get our arugula into a bowl. Okay, she says five ounces, but I'm just gonna go with that now since my bowl's not as big. All right, let's get some gorgonzola in there which, you know what, I'm gonna use my hands for this. Good thing my hands are clean, people. Get the solar going. Lewis the other day did say that he didn't realize that he liked gorgonzola, so we're good. He's gonna eat this, I'm sure. All right, you can always add a little bit more when you start to plate your stuff. Okay, so. Let's make some dressing. We are going to take our olive oil. I'm gonna put this into a mason jar because we're gonna start shaking. <clears throat> I need one tablespoon of water, which I do not have my tablespoon, although I have a half tablespoon, so let's do that. So a tablespoon of water. We are going to get our mustard, honey mustard. Throw that in there. Our pepper flakes. All right. Some grated garlic. All right. Yummy. Love garlic, all things garlic, and I need some salt and pepper. So I'm gonna grab this, and she needs half a teaspoon of each. So <clears throat> let's throw in half and a half, and then we're gonna shake, shake, shake. Doesn't seem like a lot, but we'll see. All right, here we go. This is good to go. All right, so it's been just about six hours since our cherries have been chilling, soaking in all that yumminess, and they are right here. So I am gonna take this, drain it, but look how different they look now. They're all like little plumpy and Filled with juice. All right, so draining. Drain, 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 drain. And before I add the cherries and the sauce, I'm just gonna make my own plate and we're gonna try it that way because Lewis isn't gonna eat till later. So let's do that. Okay guys, it's time to try our salad. And I'm really interested in trying these cherries. So I'm gonna make sure I get everything together. Some cheese, lettuce. Okay. I am not mad at this. It is very interesting. I would have never put dried cherries and soaked them overnight or six hours for this. 
It's tasty. I will definitely make this again, and I will definitely have it for a summer hosting, or even, it doesn't even matter if it's summer. It's really good, it's very tasty, it's very fresh. Not a lot to it, and it's super easy to make. I actually really like this a lot. I'm gonna be very interested to see what Lewis thinks of it. So if you make it, let me know what you think, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by for this quick little show about our dried cherry salad, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.